Hey guys, welcome to this brand new video. Today I'm showing you how to make your own CSGO comment bar. Now, I've made this video before, I know, but the video was not that good. I left out a lot of things and recently a lot of people have been getting the same error. So today I'm showing you how to actually properly install everything and how to fix the error that most people get. And yeah, I'm gonna show you how to make your own command bot. So first of all, you want to go to notejs.org and download the current version, the latest version right here. As you can see, I already have notes, so I'm not gonna download it again. But just install this. Then go to this link. It will be the second link in the, descri in the description. Um, it's Visual Studio. Um, you should download the 2017 version. I downloaded that one and I know it works for sure so just go ahead and download this one it's right here then the next thing you need to download is Python now Python you have a lot of versions I think the latest version is 3.8 but you want to download 3.7.0 because the command bot doesn't support all versions so just download 3.7.0 at the bottom you see executable installer just click on this one so then when you have installed those you go ahead to the command bot site so you want to click on the clone or download download zip when you have downloaded the zip you just drag it to your desktop and you want to extract it to a folder now I have this folder right here but there is one big but and I don't mean it in a sexual way if you want to make this uh, command bot work you have to put it on your C drive because most of your stuff is probably going to be on your C drive so if you want this to work you want to put it on your C drive now I have this on my T drive so what do I do I go to my C drive I press this control X and right here in this map control V now you can see it's in here it has been copied to my local drive so now it's on the right drive so then what you want to do is open up Visual Studio and just look at the screenshot I'm about to show you right now Make sure to take all of the boxes that are in yellow and go to the bottom right and press install. If you have any trouble following that, just join my Discord server in the description below and you will uh, I, and I will explain it to you again. But when you have installed that it's gonna take uh, it's gonna take a good few minutes, maybe like more than 10. It depends on your internet connection. But when you have installed that, you go to your um, to your file, to your folder. So right here, I have the folder, and you can see all of this stuff. Now this is familiar from the last video, but we're gonna take it. We're gonna do it different now because we want to do it the right way. So what you want to do? is right click on your Windows button at the bottom left and open the Windows PowerShell admin um, thing. Make sure it's the admin one and not the other one. So this will open up. Then you wanna left shift and right click this folder and copy the pad. Make sure it's not this big folder but actually this one. So when you copy the pad, you go to your uh, Windows PowerShell and you type CD space and then just copy paste um, the pad from the file. And as you can see right now, I'm going to type in this folder. So now what you want to do is type NMP install. As you can see, it's installing, and it's gonna give you this um, warnings. It's all good. If it gives you the error, 
that a lot of people are been getting I have an easy fix for that alright so if you have a bunch of red text all over the place and it's like not working you want to type this this whole thing it it will be in the description don't worry um, but you want to type this and press enter and when that's done you want to type NMP install Now I'm just gonna do it it's not really gonna do anything um, yeah it's giving me an error because I've already like installed the NMP uh, NPM all right, so I'm gonna close my file and I'm gonna open it again so it's a clean workspace so when you have done npm install you want to go to your folder and you see this file right here config.json.example you wanna right click it change name and remove the dot example so you have config.json press enter click yes and it will turn into this beautiful notepad file when you have that you go back to your uh, Windows PowerShell let me just copy the pad real quick again CD space alright so now you want to type node space database manager dot JS gotta make it bigger then press enter and you will get all of these options now what you want to do now is have an account list I'm gonna show you right now I have these random 22 accounts that I'm gonna use today for the video so you want to have the login the name of your Steam account and then you want to have the password and you want to have this in between always so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag this text file into the folder and then I'm gonna go back to PowerShell and I'm gonna use my arrow keys to go down add accounts to database press enter import from username password file and now I want to type the name of the file which is 22 underscore accounts don't forget the dot txt because it's a text file press enter as you can see successfully added 22 accounts and what you want to do now is just exit All right so now you want to open the config file right here is where it says uh, friendly teaching and leader you want to enter 22 I mean you want to enter the number of accounts that you have you can't put a number that is um, lower but you cannot go higher than the amount that you actually have when you scroll to the right it says server you want to put the IP of a server here so for example um, I'm just typing some some random stuff but for example if this is the server IP of a community server that you want to get the accounts uh, the comments in you want to paste that IP address right there when you go to target here's where you want to paste your steam profile link as you can see right here um, when you scroll more to the right you can see steam web API key um, you need to find your key on this website right here just log in into the site it will ask you for a domain just paste your steam profile link in there and it will give you your steam API key and just remove these X's and paste it here now I didn't really fill in any of the info so I'm not going to save it but after you filled everything in make sure to um, actually save your file so once you've uh, saved your config file you want to go back to Windows PowerShell and you want to type note index.js press enter now obviously it failed because I'm not in the server and I did not enter a API key and I didn't paste my Steam profile link in there but if you joins the server 
and you have successfully added your Steam profile link, the IP address of the server, and your Steam API key, you will get uh, you will get comments, and the command bot will start. I will show some proof right here, right now. As you can see, this is the amount of commands that I have right now, and this is the amount of commands that I had like after one hour. So make sure to just do everything correctly. There is a text file with all of the instructions in my Discord server, so make sure to join. Make sure to join the Discord server also for free accounts to use for your command bar. Thank you so much for watching and I see you in the next video. Peace out.